Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake with Redefine Horizons, and in this video I'm going to show you how we check and clean up a surface digital terrain model or surface model, uh, existing ground surface model in Carlson Survey. And I'm doing this uh, video for my CAD technique. I did a little bit of work on this. So uh, the first thing I do when I come in and, and check a surface is I immediately look for, you know, spikes or, or uh, holes. They don't see any in the surface. Um, we've got one foot contours here. There's a little bit of a high spot here, but I don't see a bunch of contours on it. So it's not like a real spike. When I come in here and look at this, I can see I'm just over the 121 elevation right here. And I come down here and look at this gray break shot at, at just under. So I think this is reasonable. This is probably what it actually does. Um, so I think we've got a pretty good surface here. Um, but there's a couple things I don't like. So these contour labels are... We've got too many of them and uh, they're also at the wrong scale. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is come in and set the drawing at the right scale so that the contour label is at the right scale. So we're going to put in a horizontal scale of 10. Uh, we're going to add a 10 scale. And then just as a check on the service, what I like to do is I like to rerun it with a, with a much smaller control interval just to look for prob problems. Excuse me. So I'm going to come over here to contour, and instead of 1 foot, I'm going to go 0.2. So two tenths, and we're going to just run this again and, and see if we see any issues. Okay. The other thing is you want to make sure you have your plenty of space on your command bar so you can read these props. So right right now it's saying select your inclusion perimeter polyline, so that's your outside boundary. So I'm going to do that. Then it says if you have an exclusion perimeter, you can select that. That's like if you got a building or something. I don't have that here. Hit enter. Then it says select points and break lines to triangulate. So we're going to grab those. Okay, so now it ran my, my surface, but with that smaller contour interval. And um, I can just come in, and again, I'm just I'm checking this for contours that just look funky. Um, I, I don't see any major problems here. We've got a little bit of a dip there, but uh, those look like reasonable elevations to me. Um, you know, this was a dirt field, and, and there was quite a bit. So that this is a dirt field with some curb gutter sidewalk on the north side and the the north side here and the south side here. Um, but I don't, I'm not seeing any major problems here with the contours. This is a little driveway ramp. I think this looks pretty good. Uh, looks like we might have an issue right here. So we've got a back of walk here at a 119.67. At 119.51. Top of curb, 119.51. And Let's see what this guy is. 119.82, 119.67, So this looks okay to me. These are getting pulled in a little. That looks a little weird. 119.51. I think we're okay though. I don't know if adding a break line here would fix this. We'll see how it looks when we go back to a one foot contour interval. Uh, we do got a little bit of cleanup that we need to do here. So this, this boundary didn't get drawn properly. We should have connected the dots here and instead we bridged that gap. So these are junk contours, but I'm going to show you guys how, how to fix that. So just so you see what's going on, we shouldn't have straight lined here from lip to back of walk. We should have connected the dots through these shots. So. But it, it's, I don't think it's the end of the world. We can clean that up when we clean up our contours. So I think this looks okay. So what I want to do now is I want to rerun the contours again at, at, uh, at the correct contour interval, which in this case is one foot. So let's do that.
pain. It's finding some problems here, uh, which we can deal with later. We've got some brake lines that cross. I don't think that impacted the surface in a great deal. <clears throat> okay, so you can see now we've got our one foot contours. The labels are smaller and uh, they're at, a, at the correct. Um, I think I'm okay with this interval. This interval looks okay. Um, just to, so you can see where to change that if you want. Uh, you know what? I might bump up that interval a little bit. So if, if we think we got too many labels, if you come here on your labels tab, you can change it here. So right now it's set to 50 feet. Um, we can do 100 feet. See how that looks. So I personally think Surface in Carlson is way easier than it's still 3D. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Um, you know, every once in a while you're going to get a funky label that you probably would like. This label should get rotated. Um, so we'll fix that. Um, and that's probably a setting in the Carlson. Let's go see if we can find that. I don't I don't know it off the top of my head to be honest with you guys. We probably want to uncheck this align facing uphill. I bet that's it. So let's try that. I obviously did that wrong. <laughs> Let's try it again. All right, we want to select the inclusion, enter, hit enter, because we don't have an exclusion, then select the entities. All right, that looks a little better. <clears throat> okay, so let's see, are these labels? Yep, so now they're facing the right way. So I think as a, as a general rule, I probably want my folks to uncheck that box that says uh, uh, have the labels face uphill. I want my labels facing the, the right side of the page. Okay, so um, that that's pretty good there. So I'm going to go ahead and save this surface drawing. We want to leave that as is, but we, we, go, we do go in and do some cleanup here in what we call our contour drawing. So I'm going to save this as, I'm going to overwrite this contour drawing here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get this cleaned up. So uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to come in here in my layers. And I only want to have my contours turned on. So we're going to freeze everything else except for zero. Zero current, so we can freeze off this electric layer. <clears throat> All right, so here's just my contours, and uh, I basically just come in and look for for major problems. So, uh, you know, if I got a contour this short, it needs to go away. Um, something like this, um, you know, this is a little depression contour, um, and it, it looks to me like just an artifact of the surface. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Same thing here. This looks like a surface artifact to me. Okay. Now this is probably a legitimate contour here. And uh, this one also looks okay to me. Uh, I'm probably going to get rid of that little one. Okay, and then the other thing I want um, is let's turn on our labels. So we need our contour labels. And I gotta figure out what layer they're on. Okay. Let's just unfreeze everything and then we'll find out. Alright, so our labels are on survey topo text. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna do backwards now. So I am going to freeze the layers that have my contours and my labels. Okay. 
So now I've just got everything else that was in the drawing. Now you got to remember, all this critical stuff is already in our surface. And all we want in this drawing is the contours. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all this. And then we'll run a purge. Okay, and then we'll come back into our layer control. And we're going to turn these on. Okay, now I just happen to know that I've got a client that is very particular about their layer names here. So we're going to rename these. Uh, so this is Contours Major. Contours Minor. Contour Labels. Merge these to zero if it'll let me. It will not let me. It won't let me purge. Okay, so I'll tell you what we're going to do to just get a clean drawing. So now I've got a drawing that just has my contours. We kind of deleted the artifacts. Get rid of these extra labels up here that we don't need. So now we got a clean contour drawing, and just to make life easy, uh, we're just going to W block that out. And I'm going to call this contours clean. And then I'm going to open that up with BricsCAD and just see how it looks because BricsCAD is our finished drawing software. Alright, so here we go. Here's our contours in BricsCAD. They look good to me. Um, the only thing I noticed is uh, these are not, these should be oblique. So let's select somewhere on those labels. And uh, let's pull up our properties here. Okay, and they actually shouldn't be doses, so let's, that style shouldn't be doses. So let's go fix that. So doses, we're going to rename to Roman S. That's the font the client likes to use. And we are going to make it Roman S. And we're going to put a 15 oblique on it because that's what the client likes. Okay. And now you can see our label's updated. Okay. Um, and I think we got a clean contour drawing. Uh, one last thing to check is we'll double check these layer colors. We want to make sure that we're using our client's layer colors. Okay, but I think we got a um, we got a good good set of clean contours there. Okay, so cleaned up that surface, exported the contours, cleaned up the contours, um, and that's how we do it. It was it's super easy because we have a super easy surface with a larger, more complicated surface. I can get I can get a little more complicated. But there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it, Nick. I hope that helps you out, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Thank you.